Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory restore your Windows 10 computer. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. And you either want to left click on the little settings icon on the left side where if you hover over it, it says Settings. Or type Settings into the Start menu. Either way, you want to get to a screen that looks like this. And you want to scroll down until you get to the update and security tile. Left click on that. Now on the left side here, left click on the recovery tab. Underneath recovery now on the right. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on get started here. Now underneath choose an option, if you want to do a complete refresh reinstall of Windows 10, you want to left click on remove everything. It removes all your personal files, apps, and settings. So left click on that. Now when you select that, you will have a couple additional options we can go through. The first area we go to is to ask, do you want to clean the drives too? If you just want to remove the files, you can select the first option. The second option, which will remove files and clean the drive, this will take longer. So if you are perhaps donating your computer, I'd recommend selecting the second option. But if you're just reformatting it or refreshing it for yourself, I'd recommend selecting the first one here. It's going to say this won't take long. And then you should be finally prompted to the screen that says resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC all apps and programs and any changes made to settings. I would recommend backing up any files or documents you have on your computer to an external media like a USB flash drive, CD, DVD, and the like. And then once you have confirmed you've read through this, left click on the reset button right here. This will take a few minutes and the computer will restart, so just please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select Not Now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay, everybody, the computer has restarted, refreshed, and that's pretty much it. I would recommend putting any programs or documents and pictures you might have had to take off your computer, put them back on. Any programs, you can reinstall them at this point. I would recommend creating a system restore point as well once you're done, and that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.